This Tuit skill is in Notebook and focuses on the toolbar, specifically page navigation, undo and redo, and paste. These are basic functions of the Notebook software. Let's take a look and see how these work. I have Notebook open already, and in this Notebook file I have three pages. The three pages are in the Page tab over here. I can move between the pages by using the right arrow up here to advance it to one slide to the next page, or I can choose the button on the left for Previous Page. Notice that when I click on to Previous Page and I'm on page one, Previous Page button is not highlighted anymore um, because there is nothing further to advance back. I'm on page one. I can also use the arrows down here to advance one page to the next, either forward if I go to the right or backwards if I go to the left. If I'm in full page mode by clicking on the full page button on the toolbar, I get a floating toolbar, and that floating toolbar has the same arrows going left and right to navigate. I'll go back into regular viewing mode. I can also click on each of the pages individually, and that will take me to one page or the next. So I'll go back up to page one. So those are the basic ways that you can navigate through your pages in Notebook. Now if I want to use my undo and redo buttons, I first need to change the original file. The undo is on the left and the redo is on the right, and notice that they're both not highlighted. That's because I've only been navigating in my document, I haven't been making any changes. So what I'm going to do is put a line under the word page one. So I've chosen the line tool, and I'll just draw a basic line under there. And notice that the undo button now pops up. I'm going to pick up my pen and write notes under there and put my pen down. When I hit undo, it will take away part of the word of notes, which was the line of the T. If I hit undo again, it will get rid of notes. If I hit redo, it'll put the word notes back, and then if I redo again, it will cross the T. So those are some ways that you can use undo and redo. If I hit undo three times, it will take across the cross of the T, it will take away notes, and it will also take away the line. And now I cannot undo anymore. So you can undo all the way back to the last spot where you saved your document. To make this point a little bit more, I'm going to redo so I have that line. I'm going to save the document, and now I'm going to close the notebook file by clicking the X on the top. When I open Notebook again by going to the Start menu and opening up Notebook, I'll need to open up the file, go to File, and choose it on the Recent Documents. Notice I still have that line that's there. However, this time I cannot undo it. It's not highlighted. I cannot undo it because the last time that I saved it, it was in there. So you can undo up to the last part of which you originally opened that document. So that's something to remember when you're using undo and redo. In addition, if I go to page two, if I select something and I move it, let's say I move it straight up, that's something that I can undo. So I can undo a movement. I can also do an undo of a size of something. So if I make it larger by dragging the handle and I select undo, it will change the size of it. If I put it into a um, table, so I select page two, and I put it into the first cell up here. It goes into the table. If I hit undo, it will undo that also. However, there is something that undo will not change. If I go into page three, I have some um, flash objects that are in here. Now the flash objects, if I choose one and I move it up, and then I undo, it will, move, it will change the movement of it. However, if I start changing some of the actual features within it, or if I start moving some of the things within it, if I hit undo or redo, and the only thing I can do is the redo, which is the movement, it will not change the content of a flash object. It will only undo or redo a movement or a sizing or an addition or deletion of an object. You can also go into the paste which is the button that's right here. It's a little clipboard. So I'm going to go into page one up here, 
and select the text box of page one. I will first need to copy it before I paste it, because if you don't have anything ready to be pasted, nothing will work. So I'm going to select the drop down and copy it. Now, if I just click the paste button up here for the clipboard, it will paste the thing that I just copied. Now, it can be many different types of things that you can paste in, whether they're graphic objects or text boxes. There's many things that you can use. You can also use some things from other programs. For example, if I'm in PowerPoint and I select a graphic and then I choose the copy button, I go back into Notebook and then I press the paste button, it will paste that graphic from another program. So those are some basic features in the toolbar. Now it's time for you to get to it.